uh, three books. One is a book of short stories about Bombay that's being brought out by Penguin. It comes out in March. One is a translation of the Bengali poet uh, Joy Goswami's poetry. And one is a young adult book because I also write for children. This is my first young adult novel uh, called Ella and that's coming out from uh, Scholastic. That's also due next year. Ella is in progress. Uh, it's half, exactly halfway through. Uh, the Bombay stories, I'm waiting for the proofs and the translation is in progress in the sense that I'm still fine-tuning, I'm still in conversation with Joy the putting together an interview that will go into the book. Well, yeah, it's called Dirty Love. Um, it's a book I've been working on for many, many years and it's a book that has, as it went along also changed significantly because uh, when you write about a city that changes as bewilderingly fast as Bombay does, uh, there are some things that you need to put into that book and there are some things you can never put into the book because the city is so surreal and so protean and so changeable that at some point you have to say, okay, let it go. You know, this is not going to be the Bombay book. It's going to be a Bombay book. It's going to be my Bombay book, the way that I have perceived Bombay, the way that I have loved Bombay insanely. Uh, so I think it's a very personal view of the city. It's uh, me looking at in people who are mostly invisible because uh, normally you associate Bombay with glamour and Bollywood and the underworld and not much else and maybe industry, financial, uh, the finance world. Uh, mine actually looks at characters who are marginal, I'm interested in what's going on within them and I'm also interested in the city as a being. I'm very interested in the nature of the city uh, as almost an organic being. So I think that's as much as uh, I can say about it right now. See, I grew up in Darjeeling, okay, and I grew up surrounded by books. My parents taught English. I was allowed to read any book that was there, whether it was for adults or for young or for, for young people. They never said you can't read that because they knew if I didn't understand uh, Gunter Grass's Tin Drum, which I didn't when I picked it up when I was about 10, I would let it go. But they didn't never say don't read that. So I think I grew up in an atmosphere of extraordinary freedom and it almost felt natural that I would write. I don't know why. So I grew up writing. Uh, I did English literature as most Bengalis seem to do <laughs> and in LSR Delhi but funnily enough after that I got into advertising. I wrote uh, ads for uh, seven years in J. Walter Thompson and it was only in 1999 that I realized I don't want to write ads for shampoos and refrigerators and cornflakes anymore. I loved it while I did it but I don't want to do that. I want to write my books and go back to what I had always wanted to be. As a kid, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to be a writer. But then I grew up and became a copywriter, which was a joke in my family, because what are you copying? I don't think they understood this whole concept. But uh, for me, the real crucial break came in 1999, when I gave up this extremely flourishing, successful career in advertising, to say, I will give this up and I will try and become a full-time writer. And that's what I have successfully done since then. The first book, as it happens, uh, was a translation of Shukumar Rai's Abul Tabul, brought out by Penguin. Uh, again, completely unplanned. The editor had asked me to do it and I did it and it was fabulous. So the first book of my life as a writer was a translation of uh, an author I have loved all my life. So it was brilliant.